Hello everyone, welcome back. Dane is having a nice breakfast with the future residents. Oh my goodness, Tina Talisman just ate something super spicy. But I noticed that when they're done eating, their plates actually disappear, which is a nice change from the dystopian future where it's all dirty and, and there's, you know, trash everywhere. It's, it's so pretty in Utopia. And a lot of you told me that they just walk like this in the Utopian future normally, and I find it so funny and I I assume that they're they're kind of late to work because it looks like they're walking pretty slow but who knows so I would like Dane to master his advanced technology skills so we could get that out of way out of the way and he can have a bunch of fun in the utopian future and Evan I want him to work on his bot building skill he might get it to level 10 soon I'm not sure but if Dane masters this skill we should be able to fulfill his lifetime wish because we have a wind carver, we have a dream pod, foods of the size are holodisc, and a jetpack, and that's all we need to fulfill his lifetime wish. I mean, like, after we master the advanced tech skill, so look at how close he is. That's, I can't, I cannot believe it. And it'd be nice because Hadley just fulfilled her lifetime wish, so I, I can't believe how quickly we're, we're getting through the lifetime wishes and stuff. It's, it's amazing. So Hadley, I want you to go and shake some of these big oversized flowers and uh, to see if we could get some some dew from them. Oh, you could collect dew. How many times can you do this? I don't know. But there's a ton of these around the Utopian feature. So we're going to have a lot of fun with them. And I want to collect all the different colors. Oh, what's this? She's pinkified. Exposure to dew leaves Hadley glowing a tropical shade of pink. She feels right at home among flamingos. Ah, Hadley, get your little tushy over here and collect the dew and shake it. <laughs> I also want to collect the new bug that's here and also catch the rainbow snail, I believe is what it's called. I was having to look around these little lake things, these fishing spots, and this is where the snails are you could see them the rainbow snails and they have the lily pads so robin let's just inspect the water to make sure that it's there it is and you are going to fish there and try to get some of those those cutie patooties <laughs> hadley look at her she's she's all pink evan created an uber nanite i i can't believe how many nanites we have we have 25 and they sell for 13750 whoa he's totally going to get a promotion. I'm not sure how much money we're going to need in order to get his next promotion. I mean, how much money we're going to have to raise or sell things for. You know what I mean. Okay, what happens when you awesome. shake it? Um, I, I don't... Oh! It, like, sprays stuff at you! Oh, that was adorable! And then when you collect the dew, it gets all sparkly and you collect it in a little bottle. What color did we get? Hadley, we got some black dew. This dew is so black that its true color is a mystery. No one will know its real color until it's used. We could keep collecting the dew. And this one is blue. Blue is a regal color, striking from a distance and ideal for a mysterious vibe. So I guess we can continue shaking it. Oh, she's shaking it right now. All right. Oh, calm down, Hadley. <laughs> Be patient. And I want to go try this one. We'll try them all. I also want to have a do fight. Is that what it's called? Have a do fight. Yes. Totally want to do that. Oh, it just, <laughs> it just splashed a ton of liquid on her. And she's soaked. Being soaked is never really comfortable unless it's keeping you from catching fire. Wow. From shaking flower. Hadley, come on. Be, be nice to the flowers. Be nice to the nature. <laughs> they give you beautiful dew. What color are we going to get from this one? Oh, we got a different one. Rainbow Dew. Rainbow Dew assaults the senses in its best possible way. It's the cornucopia of color. I read that. <laughs> There's a better view of her getting splashed on. I read that the Rainbow Dew will make your Sims walk like the Sims like that in the Utopian feature. So how about you go over here? Maybe collect some more dew from, from these ones. A yellow one. Shake and collect dew and, and shake. And Evan is creating a ton of nanites. Good for you, Evan. You're being very productive. Nope, Dane. Dane, don't do that. Please don't be mean to people. I'm going to have you, hmm. I'm going to have you clean Antoine and take care of your, your cute little sprite. So we could get your lifetime wish fulfilled. Or at least a skill mastered. I can't believe, look at how close he is to getting it. Hold on, I want to go where Hadley is. That's, that's amazing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I'll watch Dane while he does this because he's he's going to master his skill He's gonna master his skill like very soon. 
Just a couple more times talking to a sprite. Once more, <gasps> we did it! Congratulations, Dane has just improved his advanced technology skill to level 10. His knowledge of advanced tech has granted him reset time continuum from the time portal and additional dream pod dreams. Wow, Dane has completed his lifetime wish and has gained plenty of lifetime happiness to spend. What will his next goal be? I think I want him to just have a do fight with everyone here. Can we? Is there enough room to do that? Have a do fight. Amelia Stone, Aryan Lee. How many people can you select? Aristi, Juniper, Tina Talisman. That is a lot of people. Let's stop talking to our sprite. I can't believe it. He just fulfilled his lifetime wish. The video after Hadley fulfilled her lifetime wish. And Evan is... I, he's so close to fulfilling his too. This is the quickest I've ever gotten lifetime wishes fulfilled, I'm pretty sure, in a series. And for the majority of the Sims, that's... I'm shocked. I, I, I don't think I've ever been that productive before. Oh man, Into the Future is very fun. This is a really great expansion pack. Oh look, Dane is waiting for, for people to join his little dew fight. Hadley, get over here. And did you collect any dew? Any more dew? Yellow dew! Yellow dew is a delight, shattering laws of physics and turning sims yellow. Orange dew. Since orange is the most eye-grabbing color, orange dew calls out to ostentatious sims. How about you come over here and shake this one and collect dew and shake and collect and shake and collect and I'm just gonna have her do this for a while so we could get all the colors of the rainbow. So Dane, are you going to hit anyone with a, a dew? A dew? Is it a dew bottle? Like is it gonna be that that bad? Because I, I, I feel like that would hurt if he just threw a bottle of dew at them. Or are they in like water balloon for- oh come on. Like they are in in seasons, possibly. There we go. Oh yeah, water balloons. Okay, good. <laughs> I can't imagine it would be pleasant having this thrown on you. Oh wow, somebody just like ran across there. Oh, Dane got one. Ha to the stomach. Oh, what color is he now? Orange. Orange is it? Orangeified. Orange is a tricky color to rhyme and an even harder one to wear, but somehow Dane pulls it off. Dane, Dane's a pretty cool guy. He could pull off any color. Uh, and Evan created another one. Oh, there we go. That's what you get for turning him orange, because now you're orange, Amelia Stone. <laughs> Is that her name? Amelia. Yeah. Come on, throw more colors. I want to see all the colors. <laughs> we got another yellow one. Or maybe that's green. Pink. Oh, it would be cool if Dane were pink. Robin is... She's got some rainbow snails. Oh, let's see. They're outstanding quality. Perfect quality. And fertilizer strength is nice. What color is this chickadee now? Green. Ooh, green's a nice one. And you are Tina Talisman purple. Oh, wow. How? Look at how well that matches. She's like totally purple. Okay, so I think I want to put this little fishy on our little fishy table. Evan, did I, did I tell you to stop making that? I don't think so. Just kidding, that's so mean. Oh, no, I need to get... Uh, I need to get a, another one of these little fish bowls. So let me do that. And we'll put the rainbow snail in it. Dominique, yes! Oh, whoa, look at it! Let me get a little bit closer with Tab. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me, I gotta turn around. I gotta turn around. There it is! Oh, look at the rainbow snail and the three-eyed fish over there. That is adorable! Oh, and I did look up the whole meteor shower thing because meteors do fall uh, still. Hold on, let me have him create more uber nanites before I finish what I was going to say. <laughs> um, but no matter like what future you decide to stay in, if you have changed it to the dystopian future, it will continue to, you know, rain a ton of meteors. So it's inevitable that it's going to happen. It's a bug. I, d I did a ton of research and... Hopefully they're working on it and they'll fix it, but I, I really don't mind it. I mean, meteors, they get you a lot of money, although I don't necessarily need more money. Let's see what this says before he throws up. Yellow fied. Yellow dew has turned Dane the color of spring sunflowers. Hope he doesn't have allergies. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a good one. Ariane Lee. Oh, I'm sorry. I turned you green, though. The, you like the, the green color? So what did Hadley get? Oosh, what's this one? Purple dew. Purple dew may look like grape jelly, but Sims are advised not to ingest it. <laughs> okay. Well, how about we have you keep doing this. Let's shake it and see if we can get more dew from it. I just want to get all the dew. I'm, I'm addicted to dew. Let's shake it and collect dew and shake and collect dew and, and shake. 
<laughs> oh, and Robin, you could stop fishing. I'm sorry I didn't have you stop fishing. Let's go have you go home and look at you in your 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 hovering mode. Oh, I have to have them use their hoverboards. Actually, Dane, since he has mastered his advanced technology skill, I think it's all right. Oh, he's red. He's redified. Dane is going through something of a red phase. It's all the fun of sunburn without the pain or peeling. Uh, anyway, since he uh, has advanced technology level 10, I, I'm pretty confident that he will not fall from the sky and die <laughs> with this, with the jetpack. So I'll have him start using it now. Yellowfied. Ooh, he's yellow again. So let's stop the do fight. We'll probably have some more. I mean, that's <laughs> it's really cool to watch them change colors. And you, Hadley. Oh, yeah, she's... Oh, it just <laughs> it sprayed on her again. <laughs> oh, no. Go get some more dew. And Evan, are you... Um, how where are you in your skill? He's almost at 75%. He's like around 75%. Or he's at there, actually. <laughs> I think we can... You know what? Let's sell these in the next video and watch him get a promotion. And I don't know if he'll get two promotions. I know for a fact he'll get at least one. And when does Dane work? She starts in 18 hours. Hadley starts in 13 hours. So I got to make sure she's uh, all of her mood bars are good for her job so she doesn't get really bad work performance. I mean, it's pretty low so far. Also, I would like if Robin joined the family uh, or maybe somebody for Dane who just canceled out everything. Was it was it you? Ah, oh, no, because the flowers. I guess you can't collect dew from the flowers a ton of times. But I want to experience all the different jetpack stuff. So we're going to have to get somebody with advanced, a high advanced technology skill to join the family. I mean, Hadley is at a pretty good level. But she's very clumsy and I'm afraid she's going to die. I don't know. Dane, are, are you... Do you have to go to the bathroom? Oh, no. I is, is it just me or do their mood bars go down like a lot slower in Utopia? Because that... Because I like that. <laughs> I like that it does that. Dane, how about we fly around on the jet pack? Can we? Uh, jet pla jet jet pack. Oh, we gotta go up here. So let's go up here. I think Robin just fixed something. Go here. And we will fly around. We also have to go open the mysterious door and see if we can make the Voltron gnome. We only need one more piece of the Voltron gnome puzzle in order to make them. So let's fly around. I'm nervous, but I'm I'm pretty sure he shouldn't fall because advanced technology at level 10 is the highest one And I think the higher you are the less likely you are to fall But it's still a pretty high chance that you are until you master the skill. I, I can't remember. I read it somewhere <laughs> Oh meteor. Oh, no Hadley Hadley, please go home Robin. Are you home? Hadley run you need to run. <laughs> I Don't want you to get burnt again. That was so scary. Go here Run, <laughs> please. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's seriously gonna hit her. It's like right there. It was gunning for her. Are you serious? Wow. Well, at least we're gonna see it land. But yeah, it's a glitch. So it's it's just inevitable for meteors to hit if you've changed it to the dystopian future. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Loki Larson and Ewan, e Ewan Larson and Dina Dodson. I hope you guys don't end up dying I don't know, that's so bad okay Hadley I'm glad you're safe I mean I I feel bad for the other people over there that got hit by the meteor kind of but as long as you're safe it's it's all good Dane can you please fly on your jetpack I'm like struggling to get on this level over here jetpack fly around I'm sorry I I got so distracted by the meteor that I didn't get to finish watching you so continue. To, I like how it's all rainbowy from the jetpack and the hoverboard too. I noticed when they use the hoverboard, which reminds me, let's. There are no interactions currently available for this item. All right, fine. What about Evan? So we'll have him use it instead of walking, and it makes the pretty rainbows. And in the dystopian future, it made like this really gross brown color when you use the wind carver, like uh, these little circles. Yeah, I don't know those little details. I I just really like them. So where can we get these bugs? I think they're ladybugs or something. Evan, let's go catch these, possibly. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, Hadley, Hadley, stop, stop. Stop trying to talk to Evan, please. <laughs> I want him to go catch the bugs, and I want to see if we can catch the new ones. I know there's a lot of bug spawn points over here, so i got to keep an eye out for bugs that I haven't really seen before. Ooh. You can hear them. 
Those look pretty. <gasps> I think that might be it. I think that might be it. Okay, come over here, Evan. Go, go, go. And pick it up. Did we catch it? The new one? Oh my gosh, that kind of scared me. I was not expecting that. I kind of jumped. I'm pretty sure that was a new one. Is it over here too? No, that's like a cockroach. Uh, well, we'll find it one day. Uh, that's not it. I don't think that's it. Cause that one, the one, the the first one that he dropped, it looked all rainbowy, like something out of the future. Oh yeah, there's also a rainbow hovering over the sky at all times. But of course, since it's nighttime, it doesn't show. <laughs> Cause, oh no, rainbows in the sun, you know, the light reflecting. Evan just caught a ladybug valued at seven simoleons. A common catch, ladybug. What did you catch over here? Oh, I think you. Oh no, you dropped it. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a light beetle. So, Evan, I think I'll have you try to catch the bug in the next video. And Robin, you caught some fishies. I want her to get some more rainbow snails so we can have a little collection of the different future, future fish and bugs. Pill bug, let's give this to Evan. We can't eat them anymore, but all good we'll we'll keep them as pets little critters in her pocket <laughs> i don't know dane since he's done with that advanced technology skill i think i'll have him focus on laser rhythm -icon. and i'm not sure how easy it'll be to get the legacy statue for that the um lustrous entertainer because you have to have 10 different sims watch or listen while playing the laser rhythm con while in present day and 10 different sims that's a lot to come across in you know in the town in any of the towns because not a lot of sims go and visit areas but i think i think it'll be a nice challenge so i'll have him work on this i don't know what skill he's at too oh no <laughs> but it'll it'll be fun we can at least try to do it i know we'll get the other ones hadley has gotten the renowned philanthropist and she will get the timekeeper since she's friends with emmett relevar and we'll go back to the future change it to normal oasis landing and we'll get that one trendsetter will be for dane and pioneer of plumbotics will be for evan and evan is very close to, to doing that how about you read your book? I'm sorry, I'm having you work so hard, but I just wanna, I just want you to be able to enjoy yourself here. And if I don't have to worry about that, then I will totally let you have some do fights and everything, and you'll be able to relax and and have fun on this vacation type of thing. Oh wow, I say that, and there are three people here. I just said like it's kind of difficult to come across people watching them, but then again, they are future residents of the base camp. So when you go to a lot, there aren't too many people there. I hope you know what I mean. <laughs> it's hard to maintain a relationship when you don't call or hang out with friends. Samantha Lou and Dane Dodson are no longer friends. No. Where, who is she? I don't think he's friends really like with anyone. Uh, this chickadee. Samantha who? I mean, Samantha Lou. Samantha Lou who? <laughs> and Jessica Lever is our boss. I knew that we'd have to be friends with our coworkers because I did make him talk to talk to co-workers he goes to work in 13 hours and he needs to be friends with his boss so let's have you eat some cobbler i can't believe there's still cobbler here and you can go to sleep in your bed before somebody like steals your your bed for the millionth time <laughs> i wish you could lock the doors here but unfortunately you're not able to in the base camp so i cannot wait until they get their own house you are going to eat a plate of how long would it take you to do this 8 a.m I don't think so we'll work on it in the next video and you can go to sleep that's i was <laughs> i was gonna make him create some more some more stuff but you could go to sleep dane you can stop playing you'll get your next skill soon don't worry and hadley you need to use the bathroom no don't go to sleep you need to use the bathroom and then you can come down here and sleep i'll have them do more i mean dream of more dreams Dane, now, I'm pretty sure he knows all of the dreams, then. We'll just, we'll see in, in another video. So, I hope you enjoyed this one. Next time, we'll have a little bit more fun in the utopian future. It's so pretty here. I cannot believe it. And look, it's all blue tinted at night. Aw, lovely. We'll see the rainbow in the next video, too. And, yeah, I will talk to you all later. Bye, everyone.